What I'd like to demonstrate today is the FURY program. FURY stands for Full Motion Video Extended Unified Relay. The FURY program was developed in reaction to the military's need for long-range full motion video within Iraq. So with the requirements of 24-7 operations, um, aircraft agnostic, no pod modifications, 100 nautical miles from each location, as well as F FSR support, uh, L3 put together a program called FURY. FURY immediately went into action late 2014, early 2015, and had immediate success within Iraq. Uh, we gave it out to the strike cells, gave them the capability to do 100 nautical miles of receiving a full motion video, both for close air support operations and ISR collection. Uh, this enabled the JTAC, or the Intel guys, to not necessarily be so far forward next to the enemy, but stay back and have the fidelity from the aircraft to do the mission they needed to do. Uh, as they did this, they also took the video and put it on a distribution network to where they could share it between the other operations centers and also the headquarters unit on further back. Uh, they went, started conducting airstrikes with immediate success, and as you can see, shows the lines of communication through the satellite and where the video gets distributed within the networks. The second slide builds to showing the JTACs as they do a close air support mission. They have line of sight with the aircraft that's doing the mission, as well as the operations center has line of sight with the aircraft to pull the video to watch the JTAC and also give him the authority to conduct the airstrike. The last slide that I'd like to show you is the occupation of ISIS when the FURY program was given to the military for utilization. As the program was used and the scale shows, it drove ISIS up to the north and over towards Syria and ultimately out of Iraq, which was the requirement that the military had.